that time of year where people are getting ready to fire up their irrigation systems for the first time this year. One of the key things that people forget to do is to run their system during the day because most of them set them to run in the pre-dawn early morning hours as we would recommend. But if you don't run it during the day to check those sprinkler heads to make sure they're all running properly, not leaking, not broken, not sort of those sort of things, then you run into problems later in the season when the weather gets hot and you start realizing that you've got problems with the irrigation system. What we're going to do is take you through some of the steps you need to do for that first system check in the spring of the year. Set your irrigation clock to a manual setting so you can run through each one of the stations one by one, once again to make sure all the heads are standing up properly or popping up out of the ground correctly. What we're going to see is a number of heads that have issues for this upcoming season and what you need to do to properly set them for the, the year. It may be something as simple as the head got turned during the year because of the freezing and thawing cycle. And if that's the case, simply tighten that head down and make sure that the spray is falling on the grass and not on the sidewalk. Because contrary to what people think, we really don't know how much irrigation water a sidewalk needs to stay alive. The other steps that you need to take care of is sometimes the head will pop out of the ground and it'll get buried in snow and moved around the lawn. And if you haven't mowed yet, you may not have come across that head, but you'll get something that looks like Old Faithful as it comes out of the ground. It's a little bit of a geyser. This is an immediate problem, but it may not be identified if the system is, is run during the daytime. Other things that can happen is algae, other debris can get caught up inside the head itself. And when it gets caught up inside the head, then the distribution of the head is not as good as it should be. And then finally, one of the things we really need to be concerned about is nozzles. Nozzles tend to clog. They may uh, precipitate from calcium and magnesium in the water source, depending upon where you are in the state. And you need to clean those heads. Sometimes it's as simple as putting a toothpick in there, scraping the head in and out, or a knife blade to make sure whatever the debris is isn't out of there. But sometimes if it's something a little more serious than that, maybe a little salt residue or something like that, soaking them in vinegar if they're metal heads will often open up that head without destroying the orifice size and making sure that the distribution of that moisture is, a, is as directed. There are also excellent things you can do, the catch can test, which we've mentioned on Backyard Farmer a number of times, to make sure after you've set the system that you are getting uniform distribution of the water throughout the lawn system. This is a critical notion this time of year, because once again, if you don't do it now, by the time you realize you've got problems with that particular setting, with that particular head, in, in and around your lawn, it's gonna to be too late. We come into that time of year where many of the suppliers, especially the mass merchandisers, the home improvement stores, probably don't have as good a stock as they should to replace the head or to replace the parts in the head that you need. And also this is the time of the year when the commercial irrigation installers are very, very busy and they're having trouble keeping up and they may not get out to your lawn before you've got a serious drought problem in and around the lawn.